Hi guys, it's Trifink here and welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you my plant collection here in my house. And I'm going to show you one by one each of them. And I'll tell some of their um, um, information about my plants. But before that, I'm going to show you about uh, the app. The app that I, which is this one, picture this. Okay, focus on that. So this app where you can, um, they show you uh, the information about the plants. You will just take photo of them and then they can tell all the details, how you water them, how you um, take care of them, what kind of soil. Is it like you need to put them in the sunlight or under the sunlight and all of those stuff. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we will start from this section. Um, actually, it's not a plant, it's a dried cotton. Okay, I bought this one from one of the store in Merkab Mall. So this is how it looks like, it's dried cotton. So from the picture this, I took photo of it. It's written here, it's an um, upland cotton or a species of cotton. So the symbol of cotton is uh, luck, healing, and protection. So I placed them here in a vase, clear vase, and with three um, uh, <laughs> branches of cotton with preserved lavender on it. And this is how it looks like. No need for you to take care of it because it's already dried, right? So next one, let's go on this part. This is my snake plant. Actually, we already um, um, divided the it and removed some of the of the leaves and propagate it, you know. So I, I leave this part. I hope it will grow. <laughs> it will grow more. So I place it here. This is snake plant, okay? Snake plant, I... As far as I know, you don't need to take care of the snake plant that much. So, um, according here, it's also known as mother-in-law stung. Okay, symbol of this one is long life. And uh, when it comes to sunlight, it's written here, uh, it needs full sun to partial sun. So, for me, it's fine here because we have light, open light here, and at the same time, we have lump. So, so far, she's good. So far, she's still alive. Okay, next one, let's go to our ZZ plant. ZZ plant. Okay, guys, this is my ZZ plant. ZZ plant are also known as Zanzibar plant or emerald palm. <clears throat> ZZ plant, is, the symbol of this one is attracting wealth. So, um, it's a type of succulent according to my um, app. And uh, it doesn't need too much sunlight, so only partial shade of sunlight. So I place it here. So far, so good naman siya. We bought this one like maybe uh, one week or two weeks already. And she's still fine. She looks fine. Next is my Calatea or pickup plant. So I bought this one like maybe how many days now? No, no, week. Two weeks, I guess. Two to three weeks already. And this is how it looks like. She's also called as the prayer plant. During night time, if there is no light, usually uh, the leaves of the Kalatea is doing like this, like, you know, closing. So that's why it's called prayer plant. So according to my um, app, it shows that my plant is growing well. She's fine. And um, you need to do put fertilizer like once a week, at least once a week. And water it like once a week as well. Okay, so this is my Kalatea. Okay, next is my Lucky Bamboo plant or uh, what you call that, the dragon trees. Actually, this this one, it doesn't need soil. So you will just put it uh, under the water and it will grow as healthy as like this. So it doesn't need, it doesn't need too much care. So we'll just uh, check the water and that's it. Okay. okay guys, from this side, I put this one in my center table. So this is my baby succulents. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of uh, succulent and I I asked the guy to to arrange for me my succulent corner. 
So um, we'll go um, we'll go through her, their name one by one. So this one, this one is called the Red Crown Cactus. As you can see, there's like flowers around it. Actually, since I bought this one, the flower is still there, still alive, and it didn't even, I mean, died. See? See how it looks like? And then next is the Fairy Washboard. This is the Fairy Washboard. I don't know why they call it the Fairy Washboard. Maybe because it looks like fairy. <laughs> As you can see, it looks like this. I water them, by the way, um, once per week or once per every two weeks actually no need for you to take care that much the succulents or the cactus uh, family next is this one this is what you call the turk's head i don't know why it turk's head maybe because the head of the turks are like this <laughs> actually you should be very careful because these spikes are very um very very spiky <laughs> <laughs> and it will hurt your fingers when every time you touch them. Anyway, next is this one. It's called Angel Swings. Angel Swings, maybe because uh, this part are like angel swings. <laughs> so this is how it looks like. It's so cute, right? Next one is this one in the middle. Actually, this one, guys. Sorry, it looks like awful now. Maybe from the weather. I don't know, but when I bought it, it was so, so pretty. That's why I put it in the middle. It co It is called Echeveria Mabina. I don't know. It's from the app. It's called like that. Echeveria Evina Mabina. So this is how it looks like. So cute. But I hope it it will be fine soon. Next, this one. This one. It's called Old Lady Cactus. Maybe it's because the 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 uh, the cactus how it looks like is like this. So maybe that's why it's called old cactus. <laughs> and the last one is the lantern flower. This one, guys, it's not that much spiky. It's called lantern. Maybe because it looks like lantern. As, as you can see, this is how it looks like. So cute. So this is my succulent. Okay guys, next one is this one, um, according to the app, it's called Heartleaf Philodendron or Arum or I don't know, they told, they, call, they told me it's Pothos, so I don't know guys, so it's called Heartleaf Philodendron because uh, you can see from the leaf, see, it looks like heart, right? Uh, actually, this is one of my favorite plants so far because you know what? It's growing so well. Look at the babies. Focus on this one. Look, look, look. Look at those. Those babies and over here. And it's like two days, three days only. It's growing that much. And this is the most favorite of my plant collection. Okay guys, next one is this one. This is what you call the Golden Pothos or Devil's Ivy or um, Ivy Arum. It's family of Arum, like the one I told you, the heart. So this is the one. Um, actually, it doesn't need that much um, care as far as I know. You just water them once a week and um, expose to sunlight once in a while. And that's it. The symbol of this one, according to the app, is happiness. So it gives me happy vibes. That's it. Okay, guys. Next one is my peace lily. This is my peace lily, and she's I called her lily girl because she's so maarte. I don't know if you know the word maarte. She likes to be taken care of a lot, and um, actually she have flowers, some flowers here before, like three to four flowers when I bought her. But I cut them off because uh, one time, this lily girl, <laughs> she was so maarte and she was dying and all of her leaves are on the floor. I don't know if uh, what happened. I will flash some photos here, the before. So what I did, I researched and I asked some of my friends and uh, they told me that this should be, I, I, did, I will do like this one and this one and this one, everything I did, but still those leaves are dying. So what I did, I went to a plant shop and bought some fertilizer and hydroclay because I saw some of my, uh, some of my friends, they have this um, hydroclay, clay, as you can see here, 
like this one. So I place it here over the soil and put some fertilizer on it. And ta-da! This is how it looks like, my, my pretty lily girl. Actually, I removed her from the other plants because before it was together with my plants, my other plants. So I put her here. So I make her like uh, in an ICU. <laughs> <laughs> just for um, to take care to take care of her so this is how she looks like now she's so 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 healthy i love her lily girl okay guys next one is this one it's a uh, corn plant uh, also known as corn plant it's a family of dracaena i believe so this is how it looks like guys it's so cute i put it in our um beside our tv and i put it with this pot i bought this one from fnac this one it's uh handmade so this is my corn plant and i'm so happy for this one this small baby look at that it's just so cute and that's it. Another Dracaena family is this one, guys. This is how it looks like. It's big, same like the corn plant over there. And I put it here in the big basket. Like this one. I, know. I bought this one from IKEA. So, that's it, guys. Hindi siya malagain. You will, no need for you to take care that much. Just put water once a week. And that's it and the uh, fertilizer as well once a week and i sprayed also the spring the brand is spring for making the leaves shiny that's why it looks like this yes so that's it next guys is this one my golden pothos or sometimes they call it the money plant it's big guys yeah from here to here actually we bought this one na hindi pa ganito kalaki para mga hanggang dito lang siya before so look how big it is it's growing really it's growing properly and look at the leaves guys yeah, you guys so 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 cute and so pretty yes so same like ng ano ko ng dracaena i'm just watering it it once a week and uh fertilizer once a week also and sprayed it with the spring so okay next one is my rubber plant this is my rubber plant i bought it from my friend at the alpha shop so simple as this i want a smaller rubber plant i i mean my husband wants so this is the one she's so cute look at that small leaf there and um water it same once a week or every three days if possible just check the water properly if it's dry or not and then i sprayed it also with spring to make the leaves shiny Okay guys, next one is this one. It's called Chinese Evergreen. This is how it looks like, yeah. Actually, my, my husband brought this one from outside. I don't know from where he took. And this is how it looks like. Hindi rin siya in guys. So far, so good naman siya. Nilagay ko siya dyan and medyo nilagin ko siya ng pantali para medyo join sila together. Ayan. I'm just waiting for ano, new babies to come. I don't know. Are you? I think this is the new baby. <laughs> okay. Next one, guys. From down. This is my snake plant. Actually, I repot them. I put it in this kind of pot. It's plastic. And when we bought this snake plant, it was in a, in a big pot. One big pot all together. But what I don't like is their shape is one is going here and one is going there. And they are not, uh, you know, organized, not arranged properly. So what I did, I removed them, I repot them, and I place it like that, this position. Yeah. And then I placed hydroclay, hydroclay here over the soil. 
and I water them same like others once a week or until the um, soil is dry so far when I repotted it I didn't water them yet kasi okay pa naman yung soil medyo looks moist pa naman see if you touch it it's not that much dry so this is my snake plant okay next guys is this one Japanese laurel or Japanese aukuba yeah, with the Akuba family, Aukuba. So this is how it looks like. I don't know why she's like that. I repotted her. Look. I am medyo, I don't know what's happening. But so far, okay pa naman siya. Buhay pa siya ng ganyan. Pero medyo parang sleepy lang siya. I will check what's happening. Okay guys, so we're currently here in our ICU area. <laughs> this is my ICU area, which is beside our um, window. Kaya ako siya tinawag na ICU para medyo mas malapit siya sa window and mas malapit siya sa light. So, tapos na tayo kay Peace Lily. Dito na tayo kay Fitonia. Ito si Fitonia. Medyo nag earner te minsan. Sabi nila, um, kapag yung dahon ni Fitonia is medyo yung parang natutulog na, malambot, that means you need to water them. So, sabi nila mas easy daw to for beginners kasi um, madali mo siya ma-identify if um, you need to water it or not from the leaves itself. Yesterday, I saw it, it was like ano na, sleeping position na siya. Medyo soft na yung leaves. So what I did, I put water, mineral water if possible. So ayan na, pagkagising ko medyo alive na siya and medyo crisp na ulit yung leaves niya. Kahapon kasi medyo malambot eh. Okay, next one is this one. <laughs> it's so funny, guys. Look at that. Actually, this is Anthurium. We bought this one. She's so pretty when we bought this one. With two uh, flower. The red one, the red flower. And this is how it looks like now. I don't know what happened to her. Maybe I watered it too much. But look at that. She's still fighting. I don't know if it will um, be live or what. Let us let me see if she will still keep fighting. Let us just keep it here na lang muna sa ICU area. <laughs> Next guys is this one. Um it's a family of aloe. Uh medyo medyo na ano na siya ngayon eh. Um I don't know what happened to her. Maybe I watered it too much. The one from the middle. See guys. No, nakakainis. Nawala yung sa middle niya, guys. Medyo naglapot. Lumambot siya at natanggal. Ayan, no? Medyo na tatanggal na naman. Actually, about this one, she was so, 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 so pretty. And I like it so much. I don't know. Maybe I watered it too much. So, what we did, we repot it. Oh, not repot. We just removed the previous soil. Baka medyo, ano lang yung soil niya. Hmm... Tapos, pinatan namin ng soil, pinatan namin, ay, nilagyan namin ng fertilizer ng konti. Tapos, ayun, let's see if she will grow more or if she will survive. Yeah. Another dying plant is this one. <laughs> this is our gardenia. Oh my god. I bought this one from Ikea, actually. And when we bought this one, she was so, 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 so pretty and she was so lovely. I don't know what happened to her. Actually, this is not an indoor plant, guys. This is supposed to be outdoor plant. But since we don't have an outdoor area, kaya nilagay namin siya sa loob. But I don't know what's happening. See, it looks like burned. But still, there's leaves. We will see. She's still here in our ICU area. Another one, guys. Admitted to our ICU area is my spider plant. I don't know what happened to her. She have only like four leaves. Look at that. I bought this one also from Ikea. I hate it. I don't know what happened to her. We just removed her from her previous soil and changed into a new soil. I don't know if she will survive also. Let's see. Four leaves and with one small leaf there. <laughs> You'll see. And next one, guys, this is newest member of our plant family. We bought this one, like newly bought. 
It's also gardenia. I know. <laughs> I don't know why we... I mean, my husband loves the gardenia. That's why we bought it again. So it's still new and pretty. This is how it looks like before. And this is how it looks like when she was... When she's burned. So guys, I hope... Keeping my fingers crossed that we will make this uh, beautiful girl survive properly. See guys, she has flower now starting to bloom and one here is already open i think there's one more there yeah they told that uh you should water it uh once a week and it should be um near the window at least there's like sunlight with her so that um i mean she will grow more medyo may may pagka maarte daw siya kasi outdoor plant to we dapat nasa labas to we but we'll see, sabi nung plant guy, kailangan naka-exposure ng kaunti sa sunlight and once a week water. Actually, she's very, ano guys, um, I don't know if, I mean, for me, I can smell from here. It's like tropical, orangey, something like that, the smell. So, good luck, Gardenia. I hope you will survive. Next one, guys, is this one my Diffenbachia Diffenbachia I don't know how do you pronounce it this is how it looks like guys it's big also and I put it there sa, ano, sa stand from Ikea so this is how it looks like I also watered it like once a week or it depends if the soil is dry and sabi nila guys this is a poisonous plant if uh, for example you yung ano yung moisture niya or yung marang dagta something liquidy part niya is mas splash sa skin mo or sa eyes mo it can cause irritation daw yun yung sabi so ito siya guys nakakatuwa kasi meron siyang mga bagong leaf baby leaf ito oh you know parang feeling ko I'm a good mom <laughs> kasi pag nakakita ako ng ng baby leaf ayun no oh. nakakatuwa diba Tapos, guys, nilagyan ko lang siya ng konting pebbles dyan, just like our other plants. Tapos, in-sprayin ka rin siya ng um, spring, pang shiny, pang shine na leaves. So, ito guys, Tiffin Pasha. Next one, guys, itong si Parlor Palm. Parlor Palm, or palm plant. Tawag ba dito si Jungle? <laughs> Kasi para siyang pang jungle na plant. Diba? Pag nasa jungle ka, pag nanonood ka ng mga jungle, jungle na movie, ito yung mga usually na plant na, na observe ko. Ito siya guys. Um, nilagay ko siya dito. Medyo um, hindi masyado exposed sa sun. Sa may shoe area namin. Para lang may design dito na plant dun sa entrance area namin. Yan. So far, so good naman siya. Napaka very good girl itong si palm tree ko, palm plant ko. Kasi kahit hindi siya na-expose sa sun, she's still, ano, surviving well. She's doing well and she's doing really, really fine. I watered it like once a week. Once or twice a week. Tapos, ayun, nilagyan ko rin siya ng fertilizer once a week. And konting spray ng spring. Para medyo shiny siya. Kaya tapos, ayan. Diba? Ang cute niya. So far, she's really doing well. Wala akong nakitang any brown sa kanya or any signs of, ano, na parang dying or what. Kaya yun. I love this one, really. My jungle plant. <laughs> Guys, last one is this one. Same like nung sa sala namin. Yung parang heart shape na leaf. Um, family din to ata ng pontos. So, ito siya guys. Actually, um, nabili namin siya as free. Pinigay sa amin as free. Tapos, isang ano lang siya, isang pot together. So, ang ginawa ko, hinati ko siya. Yung isa na nasa sala, isa itong nandito. Tapos, ayun siya guys. Actually, nung nabili naman siya, parang hanggang dito lang siya. Parang ganyan. So, tignan nyo. Sobrang nag-grow na siya. Humaba na siya. Nilagay ko siya dito sa may, uh, may vanity area ko banda. Ayan. Para at least medyo may touch ng plants dito. Ito yung nakakita nyo yung light green, guys. Ito yung mga new babies niya. Tingnan nyo. Diba? Ang laki niyang ang haba na niya. Ang bilis niyang tumubo. 
Promise. Ito nga yung one of my favorite plant eh. Kaya love na love ko yun siya. <laughs> Ayun guys. That's it guys. Last one is my aloe vera. Uh, everyone knows this plant. Right? So this is my aloe vera. Oops. I think this one is falling. So this is how it looks like. I just put it here. Sa pot na to. Tapos nalagay ko siya um, outside of our toilet. Beside our, I mean, inside our room. Ito naman siya so far. Actually, sabi nila hindi naman daw tumaalagain. Medyo nag-inarte siya nung earlier part. Kasi hinati ko yung mga small babies niya sa ibang pots. So, yung sa, yung sa ibang pots, yung mga small babies niya, namatay na, wala na sila. Tatlo silang hinati ko. Wala na na deads na. As in, lupay-pay. So, I throw them, uh, throw them away. Ito na lang natara, yung mother nila. So far, okay naman yung mother. Ayan o, oh, nag-ano ulit siya o, oh, nag-grow ulit ng new, new leaf o. Oh. Ayan o. Oh. So, that means, she's doing well. Kasi okay naman. Tumubo naman siya o. Oh. Ito lang, may nag-inarting isa. <laughs> Kaya think kailangan ko na itong tanggal. So, that's it guys for my plant collection. I hope you enjoy watching. And, uh, hopefully next time, if makakabili kami ulit ng new plants, I will make a new um, plant collection videos again. So, I hope you enjoy watching, guys. Thank you for watching. And hope to see you in my next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below to make me feel happy. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye!